Hi, my name is Alex, and I'm a co-founder of VidSwap.com. I'd like to take you through a quick demonstration of everything VidSwap.com has to offer. First, when you upload your game video, we break it down in 12 to 24 hours or less. So think of us as a video assistant 24-7, 365. We save you hundreds of hours per season so you can better teach your players and get more out of your video. Second, VidSwap allows you to collaborate and share your analysis with your entire team from any browser or iOS device. Lastly, the iOS app is really one of our most popular features. Your analysis can be in the palm of your hand on the bus, the plane, or the locker room, and you don't need an internet connection. So again, VidSwap does all of the work for you in 12 to 24 hours or less. Your breakdowns are online so you can collaborate with your entire team. And the iOS app gives you offline use for film sessions anywhere. Now let's take a quick look at how VidSwap.com works. Your dashboard has all of your available apps. And so your videos here is where you're going to upload all of your games, scout games, practice video, training videos, all those kind of videos that you want to upload and share and edit with your team. You're going to see a list of all your games and you've got checkboxes next to these so you can do multi-game analysis. You can also email links to anybody outside of your team that you want to share with. On each game is a timeline and this timeline is what we use to edit your video. On the timeline You'll see these blue boxes, and these represent all the different situations that we're breaking down, giving you really great granularity to be able to pull up any small or large situation or any cross-section throughout the entire game. The filter is where you can search and view any of these situations. You'll notice that once I pull up my situations, for example, goals here, it's going to show just that goal. It'll show a little bit before it leading up to the goal and then a little bit after it. So it's that really nice granularity of the smaller situations that I want to look for and analyze. You can then select clips from your filters and add them to highlight presentations you want to create or maybe reviews that you want to send out to your players. The video player has all the playback controls for play, pause, slow motion, fast forward to get forward and backwards, next play, previous play. And we do support HD video, so your video is going to look great. Stats show the box score plus any custom statistics you'd like to add. Document is where you can upload things like playbooks, scanner reports, practice plans to share with your team. If your whole conference or league uses VidSwap, you'll have an additional schedule app here, which is where video exchange is done. And we actually break down all the games for the entire league, giving you instant access to any situation across any number of games. Highlights is where you can manage video presentations for your team or players. You can add or edit descriptions. You can change the order of these clips and you can add illustrations to further teach your players and then save those for later. Rosters is where you'll give login access to your entire team so they can watch video from any PC or iOS device and you can also set custom permissions to control what your players can see. Reviews is where you can give assignments out to your players and teach your players more effectively and then measure what they're looking at. Reviews are similar to highlights in that I can grab clips out, but then send them to certain players, groups of players, or my entire team, add to illustration notes, and then have conversations with them on the right here, and then further collaborate with what my players need to understand. Best of all, on every review, I've got a report that shows me the engagement analytics for how much my players have been looking at it, when they looked at it, how much time they spent, all that information so I know what my players are learning. Stats show your cumulative statistics, stats on every game, and then any custom calculations that you'd like to see. Settings is where you can add and create custom tags in addition to the tags that we've done for you. 
The help sections are where you can learn how to use our great features or just ask for help. Your upload button is on the right. And the top right corner is your account information where you can manage your login and subscription information. Lastly, let's take a quick look at the iOS app. So our app works for both the iPad and the iPhone. And the best thing about our app is that you can download video and edits into the app for offline use. So film sessions can be done anywhere. You can plug your device into a projector or a TV and then do film sessions in front of your team. So once you're logged in and I click into my games here, next to these games you'll see cloud icons. And this basically tells you if this game is downloaded or streamable. The cloud tells me that I can stream this game if I click into it. But if I want to download it, I can tap on that icon and then download any game into the app for use offline. When I click into a game, I've got my player controls on the right and on the left here. I can move these controls to the bottom. So I've got my play, pause, slow motion, fast forward, all that there. Whenever the video is paused, I can use my finger and I can draw on screen. The top right corner is my filter. I can pull up any situation that I want to see. And then once I pull that filter up, the top shows me all the information on this particular clip. And then I can go up and down my list of different filter clips here and watch each play. I can go back to my highlights or reviews. I can pull those up and do a session in front of my team. And any saved illustrations that you've added will also show. So in conclusion, that's a quick look at vidswap.com. We break down your games for you. If you'd like a more in-depth demonstration, please contact us.